Church, God is good to us. We're so very blessed to have young children in our congregation. And it's even greater to know that you're willing to say something for Jesus. I'm, I'm proud of every one of you. I want you to know that. I want you to all come up here because I'd like to have you to give me your complete attention for just a little bit. How many of you can give me your complete attention? Will you listen to what I say to you? I want to talk to you for just a minute. So I, and I want you to, as I'm talking to you, I'll be talking to all of you, but I want you to kind of think that I'm just talking to you. Okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Because I want it to be an individual message to all of you, what I'm going to say to you. First of all, I want to say that I'm proud of you. I'm thankful for who you are. And when I say that, I want you to understand that every one of you are different. You're all different. There's some things that some of you would like and some of you wouldn't like. There's some things that you think is funny and some people don't think so funny. Some things that you might think are the most wonderful things in the world and somebody else might not value them that much. I want to try to speak so you can understand me. You're who you are because God made you. Just like you. You don't have to be any, anything else. You don't have to be like anybody. It's okay to just be you. And that, as you grow up, right now you're in your childhood years and they're so special. Sometimes through childhood we, we have a lot of different things that happen. I know, I'll give you a little example of me. Whenever I was your age, I just worried more than anything, I worried about whether I'd have anything to eat in the morning. I wondered if I would be made fun of when I went to school because I didn't have the things that other kids had. I wanted to play football, but I was so embarrassed that I quit. But I want to tell you this to let you understand how special you are. Every one of you will have things in your life that maybe you're not so happy with. You kids are growing up. You're our children. We love you. And we thank God for your homes that you have. A lot of kids don't have homes today. And a lot of kids have homes where people are so mean to them. How many of you, after you think about it, and I want you to think about it for just a moment, how many of you can say, I'm thankful I'm me? Now don't raise your hand if you're not thankful you're who you are. Are you glad you're who you are? Everybody, this is not a group thing. This is an individual. How many of you is not happy with who you are? <laughs> you're just happy whether you are or you're not. Are you? He's just Jackson. He's just Jackson. It's important that you understand. Listen to me. Don't get distracted. It's important that you understand you're who you are. And that's okay. I want to read you a scripture because I've got some points that I want to make to you that I don't want you to ever forget. This is a service that you're probably never going to forget. You'll remember when you get older how wonderful it was when your church loved you enough to just say, hey, you all just do it your way. And I think that's what you've done this morning. But I want to read you a, a piece of scripture that I, I want you to always remember. In the book of Ecclesiastes, now this was written by King Solomon. He was supposed to be the wisest man that ever lived. His name was Solomon. Don't forget that. Solomon said some wise words that I want you to make be a part of you. Take them in your heart. I want you to listen to them. And I want you to let them be a strong part of who you are from here on. You're not going backwards. You're going to get older. You little girls are going to be women before long. You boys are going to be men. You'll look back on these times and you'll realize that this was a really important time in your life. 
It says right here in the book of Ecclesiastes that Solomon said this. He said, Rejoice in your youth. Rejoice because you're right here where you are. You don't have to be a grown up. You don't have to be like everybody else. You can be happy because you're you. And it said, and let your heart cheer you all your days. In other words, be happy. Follow your heart. That's the most important part of every one of us is who you are inside. You see, you say, my heart, I'm not talking about the thing that's beating in there. I'm talking about the very center of who you are and what makes you Derek, you are very special just because you're Derek. God made you like you and you don't have to be like anybody else. It's important that you understand that. He wants you to be happy because you're you. And he said, And walk in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes, but know this, that God is watching and everything you do, you'll have to answer for. You'll have the opportunities to make good decisions. You'll have the opportunity to make bad decisions. And I'm not going to go very long with this because I don't want to get you to where you're bored. I want you to understand that you are you and every one of you are going to be growing up. You're going to be somebody that little children runs up to one of these days and they're going to be looking to you for the answers. And I'm so proud of you. I'm glad that you're growing up like you are. But these are the words that I want you to always remember. What Solomon said. He said, remember thy creator. How many of you believe that God made you? Do you believe that God made you? Is there any doubt? Bless your heart. He said, remember thy creator. That's God. God created me. He created you. I remember when I was a little fellow like you all are. I remember when I didn't know what it meant to be grown up, but I was going at it just as hard as I could. Made a lot of stupid mistakes while I was young. But we all get the chance to do that. And it's not bad that you did because it's through our failures and through our mistakes sometimes that we learn who we really want to be. You kids are going to fail. You kids are going to have some hard times. Your kids are going to have people that just don't like you. But I want you to remember this. God will always like you. Your church will always like you. We love you just the way you are. You don't have to be like anybody else. And you'll always be special to us. And I want this church to always be special to you. And I want you to remember what Solomon just now told you. You remember God before you remember anything. Remember the one that made you. God created you. He didn't make you like me. You don't have to be like me. And we can even differ on ideas. That's, that's okay. But I want, you to, I want you to remember these words. Remember thy creators in the days of thy youth. It says, when the evil days come not. In other words, when the bad things don't happen. Some of you are going to encounter some bad things as you go forward. That's part of growing up. But remember this. It don't get so bad that God can't help you through it. Amen. God will always be there with every one of you. He's, he loves you. He loves you. How many of you know that God loves you? Will you raise your hand? Do you mean it? If you do, stick your hand way up high if you mean it. That's really good. Praise the Lord. Life is going to happen whether you're ready for it or not. You're going to get older whether you want to or not. You're going to grow up. Lukey, one of these days you're going to be a giant of a man. Riley, one of these days you're going to be a fine lady. Because you're going to grow up. As you grow up, listen to what Solomon told every one of you. 
Remember thy creator. Put God first. Remember always. I don't care what kind of a hard time you get in. What kind of a bad time you're going through. Remember that God loves you. Remember he loves you. If I was going to number the most important thing that I would want you to remember about this service today, what do you think it would be? What's the most important thing to you right now? That's what it has to be, Stewie. And I'm so proud of you for saying that. But every one of you have to understand that the most important thing in your whole life is to know that God is. That God loves you. And you're growing up into a world, and I'm not going to go too far on this, but they're not teaching you to love. But your church is. And they're not teaching you that God's the most important, but we want to tell you that this morning. God is the most important thing in your whole life. Remember that. No matter where you go, what kind of a bad situation you get into, and I know we have all kinds of different ideas on what's right and wrong, and you're going to have to wrestle that out, and every one of you will get to decide what's most important. You see, I could tell you this morning that uh, Stewie was the best guy in the country. Some of you might say, well, I don't really think he is. Somebody else I think is the most important. Isaiah, somebody might say you're awful special. Somebody else might say, I don't think he's too special. Every one of you, every one of you are very special with God. That's what I want you to remember. I want you to remember that. And I want you to remember two other things. And I'd like to have a volunteer. Maybe. Come here, Lucy. Like that. 
need God to help you with, who would you go to, the living God or the dead God? Stand up. 